Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Lit Horizon. Today we can discuss a simple poem that is without title, written by Diane Glancy. The subtitle of the poem is For My Father Who Lead Without Ceremony. First of all, we can go through the author Diane Glancy. Diane Glancy is a Native American poet. Her father is a Cherokee descent. Cherokee descent is a native people in Southeast America and Northeast California. Her mother is a German descent. Therefore, she belongs to a mixed race. After their parents' marriage, father moved from his native land and moved to the land of her mother. Therefore, he misses his homeland and his tribal custom and he was trapped in between the tribal customs and the ways of German life. This is all about Diane Glancy and her family. The poem without title can be considered as autobiographical. Through this poem, she reflects the dual life of her father. The major theme of the poem is identity crisis of a Native American in an heterogeneous society. Next. We can go through the title significance of the poem without title. When a Native American moves to adulthood, they should perform a ritual called Vision Quest. And after performing this, they will receive a title. That title is his adult name and it is a symbol of spiritual maturity. But here, the poet's father didn't perform this ritual. And before doing it, he went to city after marriage. Therefore, he lost his identity. Coming to the poem. Poet's father was a hunter. He was a hero among their tribes. When he brought animals after hunting, his fellow tribal people sing song and celebrated his victory. But now, after marriage, when he migrated to city life, he lost his power and significance and he no longer go to forest and for hunting because his wife or poet's mother don't like that. He now walks in a stockyard where the meat is sold. He bring meat every day to the home. But when he bring horns and hides of animals to home, her mother get rid of them because she hates all those things. Poet's father lost his individuality and identity. Next, Diane Glancy remembers a car drive with his father. She feels that her father is driving a car like an animal in the forest. And he don't care whether it is mud or snow. The aerial in the car waves like bow and string. And this resembles the tribal life of Native Americans. Once, for a pleasure, she painted a red buffalo in her father's chest. But now, she couldn't see it. She remembers, while his father sleep, the red buffalo in his chest grunts. This grunting is a reaction against the society which neglects the tribal world. This is all about the poem without title. Thank you.